What is up, thugs and thug? It's BBK Dragoon coming at you today with some Halo CEA gameplay. It is Monday, but there's only one more Monday night in the pit left before Halo 4. Once Halo 4 gets here, I'm gonna try, fingers crossed, to make sure that Monday Night in the Pit is weekly again. It used to be weekly, and then over summer with work, it started becoming bi-monthly, and then it started really slowing down because of school. But I'm trying to change all of that with Halo 4. A lot of things to chat about in this video with you today. Really excited. We're in a cool period of time to be a Halo fan. Probably the best period of time to be a Halo fan right now. I want to go over my plans for Halo 4, talk a little bit about school, and then maybe mention Forward Onto Dawn, and then the video stuff that you can expect from me in Halo 4, talking a little bit about the Halo 4 MLG Dallas stream details, and then finally stay until the end, because I'm doing a new weekly video series with my buddy M Vito, and you don't want to miss it, so stay tuned to the end, and I'll talk about it there. So right off the bat, plans for Halo 4. It comes out next Tuesday. I'm very excited. I'm not heading out to the midnight release, sadly. I have class on Tuesday nights. I have class on each night, but Tuesday nights from 5 until 10, and then from 10 p.m. until 2 a.m., I actually have to work. So if I were to go down to uh, GameStop and pick that game up around midnight, I wouldn't be able to play the game until 3 or 4 in the morning, and I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to wait until Wednesday to play the game. But once it comes out, man, you can bet. When it's in my hands, I'm going to be playing that game a whole bunch. I'm trying really hard right now to balance school and gaming and making videos because it's it's something that's a challenge for me because honestly, let's face it, I would love to sit here and game a ton of time each day. But when I do that, if you game too much or you make too many videos or you, you focus yourself too heavily into this, it can definitely affect your grades and affect school. And that's happened to me in the past, you know, last spring. I love YouTube a lot, and it's really easy if you're not careful with um, managing your time. School can suffer, and that happened for me personally. And so this semester, I've tried really hard to make a significant change to make sure that school is my priority. And as much as I love you all, it's still going to have to be that way when Halo 4 gets here. But on that note, I do want to start posting more regularly. I want to try and get you guys videos on a more regular basis, and here's a few of those uh, derp snipes. I no Paul B up in this, up in this his house. But uh, like I said, I want to get videos out to you guys on a more regular basis, especially with Halo 4 coming out. I know I'm going to be playing that game a lot, so hopefully, you know, I'll be online playing with subscribers and playing with those on my friends list because if you've been on my friends list, you know that I really haven't been playing Halo too terribly much over the last few months. Been playing a lot of League of Legends. But that's going to change when Halo 4 gets here and definitely going to try and bring back the community night because, hey, let's face it, we only had one since I've been home this fall. And I'm going to try and change my schedule, talk to the boss man, and see if I can uh, work it out so I get Friday nights off. All right, so Spartan Ops. Something I'm really excited for. At first, I wasn't really feeling it until I, I just... Late last night, I was watching a bunch of Spartan Ops gameplays from the different conventions and expos. And got really excited there because that's a chance for us to get to play together like me and the subscriber and potentially even be together in videos i don't know what you guys think about that if you know spartan ops is even something you guys will want to see because i know a lot of folks are going to be posting it but if it could be done in an interactive way that involves you guys i would love to know so let let me know down below are you excited for spartan ops would you guys maybe be interested in a series that involves you know, playing Spartan Ops together, maybe with me, another commentator, and a couple of subscribers, and switching it up each week or whatever we decide to do. Excuse me while I clear my throat. Quickly, before I wrap up, Halo 4, forward on to Dawn, what are you all thinking of the series so far? Before it wraps up, I want to get your opinions and sort of hear some feedback from you all. Are you stoked on it? Are you looking forward to the Halo 4 campaign now? I know I myself got so hyped after watching the episodes of Forward Unto Dawn. I think it's being done so well, and I really want to see this continuation in Spartan Ops. I want to see them carrying over this narrative, this drama, this story, and just generally the Halo ambiance that is so freaking sweet. Because I wasn't super stoked for Halo 4 campaign, but then Forward Under Dawn started coming out, and I'm like, all right. The hype train, I'm aboard, choo-choo, let's go. Then, last but not least, the Halo 4 stream information at Dallas, before I talk about this new dual comm series. Uh, you can watch the Halo 4 MLG Dallas stream completely for free. 
it is going to be standard def only if you don't purchase an HD pass. If you purchase an HD pass, you get some pretty cool stuff. All the streams in 1080p, no video advertisements, and a DVR feature which allows you to rewind and watch any action that you may have missed, which I think is pretty sweet, especially in a live setting. If there's a clutch play, just watch it back. Be like, oh, dang. Really helpful, too, if you want to get good at Halo 4 quickly and have an edge. You want to be watching what the pros are doing, why they're doing it, and get that first glimpse. All right, before I wrap up, Please, please, please do me a huge favor and check out the video that I'm going to be linking at the end of this. It's called The Bot Lane. It's a new series with M Vito. I know a lot of you play League of Legends, and this is a new weekly show where we discuss League of Legends, how to get involved with League, how to get better at League, and just generally everything surrounding the game and the hype. Because I've talked to a lot of you on Skype and Twitter and Facebook and all sorts of stuff. So many Halo players are playing League of Legends, including T-Squared. And it's a really fun game. It transfers over. It's a free-to-play game, by the way. I might add that. Halo players, the teamwork involved will only aid you when Halo 4 comes out or even when Halo 4 is out. So do me a massive favor. It would mean a great deal to me and Envito if you would check that video out. Thank you, guys. I'm BBK Dragoon. I will see you later. Shaste! Shaste! Asa! I'm dead. Asa! Asa! Look at Six! What's Six doing? What's Six doing? What's Six doing? Oh, 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 But you're a meat shield. You're a meat shield. Oh! And yeah, my name is Abu Kung. Lux! Oh. Oh. oh! No! Oh! Oh! Go, 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 go! If you triple this, I'm gonna scream. Did she ignite you? Yeah, she did. <laughs> You're the best, GG. I'm uh, sorry, Blizzard. I didn't. I didn't get to 30. But I got damn near close. <laughs> My bad. Windows is checking for a solution to the problem.